Welcome to Shigama Live Show with your host, Shigama. I don't have a working title for this yet. Forty years ago, I probably would have been disappeared for this information. Now, the information, of course, is widely available, so we don't have those occurrences anymore. Uh, and what I'm going to talk to you about are batteries. And I'm the batteries in context to the application of batteries which is electric cars and not free energy but your lifestyle changed to such a degree that everything about American society everything about life as a human should change now first let me talk about the oil companies the oil companies were big and powerful because mainly of the technology of just oil and gas. Oil and gas companies are now changing into energy companies. Did you know that the gasoline that you purchase, 90% of the money that you pay for per gallon is taxes? 90%. The, the oil and gas companies don't make money by overcharging you for the gasoline. They make pennies on the dollars per gallon. Pennies. And it's just that millions upon millions and everybody and you cannot get there from point A to point B with that oil and gas, right? Uh, your trucks, your 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 ocean liners, your ships, your airplanes, your your police cars, your cars in general, v anything that runs on gasoline, you have to go through them. So that was, to their mind, the only way to make money. Then we had a little bit of a change. Now, because we need gas currently. Uh, the U.S. government has taxed and taxed and taxed and taxed and added tax, value tax, and this tax onto gasoline because we need it. It goes up because the mainly Democrats keep adding on taxes onto the gasoline. So now gasoline that should be like 10 cents a gallon is now three, four, five dollars a gallon. The oil companies. And because we need it, they know we need it, they put a tax on it, so they get their taxes. Uh, oil, and, oil companies and power companies are now combining to form giant energy companies. So now the word is energy, not, not oil, not gas, not power, not electric. Uh, the guy, there was a guy who invented permanent battery. I saw a documentary on him. Uh, if you see the camera move, it's because somebody is messing with the tripod guy invented a permanent battery he was removed and his entire laboratory was shut down and everything in it confiscated now uh, the, I don't know if the story is don't work for a company but the company provided the laboratory and all the equipment and all the materials that he was working with and everything was literally confiscated and he thought he was doing something really innovative by giving them a permanent permanent battery we're going to return to that in a second now uh tesla or tesla home i believe the company's called which is uh, backed by elon musk uh, created a battery with 2000 life cycles supposedly that broke world records never been done before 2000 life cycles which uh, I'm a little bit skeptical of in the first place. World records, right? Panasonic, a couple of months later. Remember, Tesla home, 2,000 life cycles. Comes out with up to 2,000 life cycles. So we're going to say 1,000 life cycles. Panasonic, a few months later, comes out with a battery with 5,000 life cycles. I have a question. Of course, they broke you know, world records or whatever. I have a question. 
How did Elon Musk break the world records 10 months ago, supposedly something that's never been done with a battery life cycles, and Panasonic rolls out with 500% more life cycles and destroys the world record within a couple of months after Tesla home. A world record means the tech didn't exist before that time. Answer me that, how did Panasonic roll out with a 5,000 life cycle battery? Months, within months after Tesla home and Elon Musk. Skeleton is a tech company in Tallinn in Estonia. Estonia uh, was part of the former Soviet bloc. Uh, is famous for inventing Skype. I'm sure everybody's heard of Skype. Skeleton, that's the name of the startup, has created a battery. You ready? Hold on to your hats. With ultra capacitors. You get fast, deep charges within seconds is fully charged and you can get all of the energy out within seconds also. And it has Hold on to your hats. One million life cycles. Do you think we already have the technology for permanent batteries? I want to tell you, I don't know which, which appliances you have around your house, but you have appliances, did you already know this, that have permanent batteries in them already. It's just a part of the equipment. It's a part of the appliance. You can go look it up. You have appliances with permanent batteries already in them, and they've already been around for years. It's, it's the appliances that you go out and buy a battery. Those don't have permanent batteries. But there you have, you have little appliances around your house that have permanent batteries embedded into the appliance. Maybe it's a, a little LED light that sh shines all the way to always indicate something. It's something like that. It has a permanent battery in it. So the technology has been around for long. Now, do we have the capability to have a large permanent battery? Leave me a, a comment below. Thank you all for watching. Uh, computer went out. You're going to have to suffer through these types of videos from for at least a couple of months if you want to help donate for the equipment uh, simply go to paypal.me slash shikama paypal.me me like me slash shikama thank you all for watching leave a like